hey everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a throwback thursday palette eyeshadow look if that makes any sense and i kind of want to bring this to my channel is dive into some of my palettes that i haven't really used and that are a little bit old to me and i might be doing this something new to my channel so today's throwback Thursday eye palette makeup look is I want to dive into the blood sugar palette and this is not extremely old but it's a little OG a little OG and I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what blood sugar looks like has a lot of gorgeous neutral and then reds and purples and yeah so I want to make a eye look with this um, my makeup, my foundation, my primer, setting spray, eyebrows, eyelid primer is all done because I just want to dive into this and let's make a look, you guys. Let's see what I want to go in with to start my base. We had to touch some things up. I was having a little bit of a um, eyebrow malfunction. All right, you guys, so I think I'm going to start my crease color. I think I'm going to keep a natural look on the eyelid and then we're going to do a crazy color underneath. So I think I'm going to go in with sugar cane and a little dab of cake mix and I'm going to start that off in my crease. So you guys, how have you guys been doing during this whole quarantine lockdown? Are you guys going insane? Are you going nuts or are you an essential worker and you don't have a choice and you have to go out and keep going like I do? I don't have a break. So let me know down below if you guys are going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs during quarantine. Or if you're enjoying this little time off vacation, like, girl, I wish I had, like, some time off. Like, I'm not even lying. So I watched, I think it was Shane Dawson. Well, Jeffree Star did, like, a little reveal of, um, I guess that green palette or green shade that everybody's been getting butt hurt over and so Shane finally I guess revealed it and I was obsessed I can't I don't remember if it was on his snapchat or if it was um on insta but he sh did a makeup look using that green eyeshadow and I was obsessed with that so I think Whenever they do reveal that launch, I am going to buy that. I do have the original mini controversy palette. So I think I'm just going to buy the green shade by itself. And I want to do that look because I fucking loved the way that he looked. His eyeshadow look. Oh, it was so pretty. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with Tongue Pop. And I think I'm going to add that to the outer corner of my eye because I do want to do a little, I want, well, hmm, what do we want to do here? I, okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. We're just winging it, you guys. We're winging it. So I think I'm going to go in with this color right here. Cannot pronounce the name of it. And I'm going to add just a little bit. Just to give my eye a little bit of dark definition off into the corner. It sounds like there's a dog. I have a crawl space, you guys, and it sounds like there's a dog underneath my house. 
how the hell I would have gotten there? <laughs> Don't ask me. Mm hmm You liking this vibe? Because I am loving it. It's kind of like... Because exactly what I want to do is make my... Um, under eye extremely <laughs> bam kashyam in your face because I totally like this is why I want to do this is like because I totally like don't remember what palettes I have because I own so many of them so this is like an opportunity to just be like, hey, bitch, you know, you own this palette, play around with it. I have not touched, oh my God, blood sugar in a hot ass minute, you guys. So it feels really good. And I was like thinking the other day, I'm like, I really want to play with my blood sugar palette. So that's what we're doing today. I swear to God, I think there's like, we have so many stray animals over here. Like I have a cat that hangs out in my front yard. Uh, there's a black cat that walks up and down the road every day, it seems like. And then there's squirrels all over the place. And it's just like, Jesus Christ. Like one of these days I have this weird feeling like I'm gonna like open my door and like some stray animal <laughs> is just gonna come flying into my house oh and then we have birds out the ass and that's another thing that's annoying it's like mm -hmm. I don't want a bird just flying into my house all right so I'm just touching up my cake mix and sugar cane because the one dark color that I am using kind of took away from that and then not only is that it's blending a little bit which is making it really pretty and we're back so I did a little bit of blending and touching up and this is what my eyes are looking like I'm really loving this like top eyelid color like I just keep working with it and it's really gorgeous all right so I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go in with tongue pop which is this like peachy corally looking color and I think I'm gonna add that to the inner corner of my eye I'm not gonna add any like um, what do you call it concealer or anything uh, just because I want to keep it a little natural looking as possible because I want most of my boldness to be my bottom lid oh my god you guys so the other day I was on my way home from work and I do work 30 minutes away from my house so obviously it takes me about 30 35 minutes to get home depending on idiots how they drive because where I live I swear to God you guys these people are the stupidest and everybody probably thinks this about their state hometown or whatever but I am being legit you guys like Florida drivers we will push you the fuck out of the way okay like if you don't get out of our way like if you don't know where your fucking gas pedal is we will push your ass to the point to where you move your ass because <laughs> you gotta drive like in Florida you need to you need to drive and people here they don't drive they use their brakes more than any freaking person I have ever seen in my freaking existing life and it's like 
where did you get your driver's license from? A Cracker Jack box? Because I really want to know. Because these people, I'm telling you, I have lived in a lot of places, you guys. I've been around the world quite a bit. I've seen different atmospheres. I've seen different drivers. <laughs> and I am serious. Tennessee drivers are the worst fucking drivers I've ever seen in my life. So anyways, this has nothing to do with like driving or getting into a car accident, but it's just the fact that it has happened here. And the other day I had to go and do my Walmart pick up because I did order some things and on my way to Walmart, <laughs> I saw this thing in the middle of the road, and at first I thought it was just trash sitting there, and I'm like, no, that's whatever, there's nothing going on, and as soon as I get closer and closer to this thing, I noticed that it was not trash. It was a groundhog sitting legit in the middle of the road okay like in the double lines this groundhog is just sitting there chilling and I'm like bro do you not realize that this is a little interstate you need to get your ass moving and I swear to god as soon as I come along I'm doing like 55 60 miles an hour all of a sudden the groundhog jumps in front of my car starts running there was a car behind me and this is the first time I have ever hit an animal and it was like weird because I have never hit an animal now granted it was a wild animal but still it's an animal to me and I always get sad when I see like an animal I'm like Oh my god, a raccoon! Or, oh my god, that cat didn't make it across the road. I never thought in a million years I would have hit an animal. And I hit my very first animal. And the other thing that scares me is the route to my um, job, especially this one road that I have to get on. It has a lot of deer crossing signs. I hope to God I never hit a deer because that is just I don't know deers can do a lot of damage to your car I think I'm gonna go in with blood sugar right here because we are kind of going with a red pastel -y look but like I said you guys I want my bottom to be BAM so I'm gonna go in with blood sugar so yeah you guys that was like oh it was so it was devastating like I've never hit a wild animal or anything to that nature and it was like uh. so yeah that was that but yeah you guys Tennessee has the worst drivers like I have never seen people drive like the way that these people drive around here like literally they think every day is Sunday here and it's like excuse me every day is not Sunday <laughs> and I'm not even talking like this ain't even just during coronavirus you guys this is legitimate everyday normal in here it's like these people don't know how to drive and I can tell you right now why these people don't know how to drive is when I went up to get my driver's license here to get them renewed from Florida I needed glasses okay and I didn't have my prescriptions at that time and I knew I couldn't see and the ladies telling me like look into this box I couldn't see the last two lines. You know what the bitch tells me? You're good. 
Bitch, I am blind. I am blind, and you are going to allow me to drive a motor vehicle being blind. So, yeah. That, that right there told me an awful lot about this state and why in the hell they can't drive to save their life. So, that is that, you guys. Like, holy. <laughs> so, I'm just taking a little bit of product and I am buffing out to the corners. Just to kind of make it look like, hey, bitch. <laughs> hey, even though, like, this looks like I'm dying. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? dying today oh my god you guys and the people here have the driest sense of humor it's unreal I seriously feel like I moved to a twilight zone <laughs> like I came from Florida which has so much walks of life like you've got like Florida is its own country, you guys. Like, I'm being for real. If you've never been to Florida or if you live in Florida, then I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. But Florida is its own country. Like, Florida is very weird, different compared to a lot of other places. And I've lived in Florida most of my life. So all I pretty much know is Florida so it's like here everything is just so it's so ass backwards it's so I don't even know how to describe it it's like people here they have no common sense they have like, their joking is, like, entirely different than most people that I've encountered. And it's, like, I that's why I say, like, I feel like I live in a twilight zone. Because these people, like, you can say something that other people would find hysterically funny. And they would just look at you like, you're dumber than a box of rocks. That's how it goes around here. And it's like, bro, your jokes don't even make no damn sense. And then <laughs> you're sitting over there falling down to the ground laughing and I'm still trying to figure out the punchline. I mean, that's just how different it is here. And it's like, I've lived here for... seven years and I still can't get used to it. I don't know what it is. It's just the people here are just so, so much different than anybody else or any other place I've been. I don't know. Maybe it's a Southern thing. I have no idea because even though I was born in West Virginia, I moved to Colorado when I was five so I really didn't know anything about West Virginia so I didn't like pick up on the learning traits in West Virginia and that is one thing that I do want to thank my parents for is not raising me in a southern state is because I just, I don't know. I couldn't do it, I guess. Like, I'm so glad that I was able to experience other things. And a lot of times I get off the, the fact is, is they don't know any better because this is all they know. And to me, it's kind of sad in a situation because it's like there's so much more to life than 
East Tennessee, you guys. Like, I can't even explain. Like, if you live here or if you've ever been here, then I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, then you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take glucose, which is this really bright white. And I'm going to add that to my inner corner and brow bone just to make everything a pop. But yeah, you guys, like, I'm not attacking southern people or anything to that nature. It's just I don't understand them. They're, I like, is it, I guess that would be like a culture. <laughs> Because I really don't understand it at all. I don't. So, I don't... I don't think I'm going to go in my brow bone. I'm just going to leave it as is. Fade it out. And add mascara. So, that is my look so far. I've been using this... Lily Lashes Mascara, you guys. I'm a little obsessed. Um, at first, I wasn't digging it. And then I was like, well, let me try it with a fresh coat of... Because I think what had happened is I had applied it and I used my other mascara. And I needed a touch-up and I grabbed this one. And it was like clumping all over the place. And I was like, I don't know. So I finally used, um, like I took a shower, washed my face off. And I applied it that next morning to nothing on my eyelashes. And I was actually obsessed. They really do make your eyelashes dramatic, but not like eyelash extents dramatic they do it does definitely add some volume which helps like if you already have like naturally long eyelashes then I think this mascara would make your eyelashes look gorgeous just for the simple fact like mine aren't the longest but they're kind of long and they make my lashes look really cute all right you guys so this is my final look of my eyes gorge I love it I love it a lot so now you guys I am gonna go in with a lipstick obviously and I kind of want to match the mood of my eyes. So, Emily Jewels is a little dark, but it's not extremely dark. And I think it would kind of go with, like, the darkness that I have in the outer corner of my eye. All right, let's see how I did. Good bitch. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is my final throwback Thursday palette makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big huge thumbs up. And as always, I upload every three days due to working purposes. And I'll see you soon in my next video. You're beautiful. Stay true to yourself. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Get up, do you, do what makes you feel confident. And let's check out this badass new shirt that I just bought. The Exorcist. Her bent down, walking down the staircase backwards and bent over. Yeah. Can't get more iconic than this. And 
the Exorcist. I love this shirt. And I actually picked it up at Hot Topics if you guys are running. So yeah, see you guys.